Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Music Scrap, the musical scrapper. Running late today, but if you're watching the recording, that's no big deal to you. <laughs> it's only a big deal to the people who are watching me live. And of course, I do have a chat, so if you hear me talking to people, it is, there are people in the chat I'm talking to because this is recorded live on Ustream. So once again, I'll just show this quickly. The box is finished. I started this a couple of weeks ago on the Ustream show. This is just painted uh, cardstock painted with gold paint. Oh, good, Dee Dee, thanks. I was pretty pleased once I got it photocopied. Uh, we're talking about my zine. My zine for the zine swap arrived today. And uh, once I got it uh, reduced in size and, and uh, printed off on the smaller uh, zine pages, I was pretty happy with how it turned out. So, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yes, I guess I should show inside for the recording. Inside there's three slots, one for the photo album. And then there's going to be a guest book and then a slot for cards or special memorabilia. So this is for my cousin's parents' 80th birthday party, which is a surprise. Her dad turned 80 in March and her mom turns 80 next March. So since one of the daughters is home from Ontario at the end of August, they decided to do the surprise party for both of them in August in between both of their birthdays. So... <laughs> yeah. <sighs> so. All right. So this was started out as a Dollarama 96 photo photo album that still has the uh, wax paper there. Uh, the pages. I can take it off now because it's all dry. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to have to put another coating of matte medium on it, but I don't think I will, so. Oh, good, Dee Dee. I thought you might like that. Okay, so I guess I can take, I can peel these off now. So the first thing I'm going to do is just, the only thing I have to do to finish this is to put, I am going to put photo memories on here, but my, <laughs> my cameo is still kind of hidden under a pile of stuff. So that will get done eventually. So... off all the tape here. I have enough tape to tape down the army. I think Hey Janet! Nice to see you. Yes, Dee Dee is teasing us. That's the bonus, I guess, of being the hostess. She gets to see them all first. <laughs> I guess there has to be some some bonus to all, all the hard work she has to do. So, Oh, I think I wrecked one of the tape. Darn it. It got torn. Yeah. Didn't I forgot I had a piece of tape there, too. Dang it be able to fix that somehow. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. need to put some paper inside there 
So let's do, I think I'll do one of these. May need, I think I'm gonna need two though, because of the size. One for the front, one for the back. So this is Prima's ledger paper, ledger pad. I actually bought it in Austin. Uh, no, I didn't. I ordered it online, I think. This wasn't, no, or was this one of the ones I brought home from Austin? I can't remember. Okay, so let's see how big I want this. Get my ruler. It is very nice paper. It's an awesome paper. I do like, I don't like Prima's flowers and all that. Cause I, well, not that I don't like their flowers. I'm just not a fruit fruit person. Their flowers are nice and enough. Way too expensive. Even if I did like them, I don't think I'd ever buy any because they're too expensive. So I'm going to do eight. It's almost nine by nine, but not quite. So I'm going to do eight and a half. Eight and a half should work by um, by seven. Eight and a half by seven. <laughs> okay. So seven this way. Oh, my arm is so sore. It took longer today. This is the first time I wrapped with my bandages again since I had my slight shoulder injury. And it took a little longer than usual because my shoulder's still a little stiff. <sighs> and now my leg is sore because I whacked it on the edge of the tub getting out of the shower. So there's going to be a nice wafty bruise on the inside of my shin. Hey, Brenda. Nice to see you, B3. And I saw... Oh, well, Carrie, <clears throat> it was morning and my phone was ringing, but I didn't, like, I wasn't really quite awake when I was reaching for my phone on the nightstand. <laughs> anyway, I ended up on the floor, face down on the floor, rolled right out of bed. Yes, I did, rolled right out of bed. Hi, Jamie. Okay, so this one was, oh, Crap, now after all that talking, now I forget. Seven, I think. Ugh. Gosh darn it. Uh, yeah, gotta do it this way. Yeah, seven by eight and a half, right? Yeah, seven by eight and a half. Seven this way. By eight and a half. I'll do it from the bottom, I think, because it's Oh yeah, I had bruises on the in underneath inside my arm. They're almost gone, just above my elbow where it whack hit the <sighs> bedside table on the way down. Eesh, I didn't even notice that. My massage therapist noticed those.
Nice to see you. Running late today because I, by the time I got all wrapped and then had to wait for the cab to get to the pharmacy. Didn't want to wait till after my stream because I needed my allergy med so it wouldn't be all sniffly and something's icky on the desk. Who knows what? And I'm edging with sepia archival ink. Joyce. Oh, sorry, Murda. I am working on um, a project for my cousin's parents' 80th birthday party. I made a treasure box and I'm making the photo album for their photos for that day and a guest book. So I'm just working on finishing the photo album here. And. I'm going to do some miracle, uh, miracle tape for the edges, I guess. And then I'll just use my ATG gun for the rest of it. But just to make sure the edges stick down nicely. Yeah, brand new roll. Shoulder's still stiff. Where were you, Joycey? Did you go away? I think I missed that she was going away somewhere or something. Hi, Karen! Did you get your package yet, Karen? Dee Dee's arrived today, so yours shouldn't be too long. Joyce? Wow. Excellent. I did notice you saying you were getting some uh, dyes, I think. It was you were talking about.
Okay, everybody, stay out of Carrie's way. In case you didn't see her tweet earlier, she's been eating pixie sticks all day. Oh, well, that's no fun, Karen. <sighs> Burnishing my tape. Check and make sure. Okay. So this started out as a red kind of plastic coated album. And uh, I altered it. I did record the stream when I altered it. So. So. <laughs> I bet they do, Dee Dee. Although I thought spaghetti and pasta would be a better alternative than pixie sticks. But yeah, I guess it is an instant uh, energy rush, isn't it? They've been around for a lot of years. They were around when I was young. I used to get like five for a penny. Oh, the, the great big huge ones? Yes. I remember those too. Uh, Red Bull stuff. Red Bull's not good. It has done a lot of heart damage to a lot of people. And then, to make it worse... Oh, you can see the red shining through. I may have to put some washi tape around the edge or something. It's supposed to be 18 to have Red Bull anyway. Oh, lick a maid, yes. Or, or, um, what are those ones that have the stick? Um, mm, you know, it has the stick to stick in it. Candy stick, that is. And the one on the back. Excuse me. I love that tricolor toffee that you used to get. You know, a lot. It was about a foot long, and it was about three inches wide, maybe. Oh yeah, fun dips. Yeah, fun dips. That's it. Oh, and then bottle caps. Oh, love bottle caps. Oh, I didn't even put that. Oh, that's all right. It's just lining. Okay. So that's the photo album.
Yeah, they are. They're the Lick Maiden and the Fun Dips are the same, except you have the candy stick to go with the. Uh... Yeah, that won't go in there, but it'll go in the middle. I made the front for it, though. Once we get some, once we get. Okay, so there's the treasure box, the photo album. Now let's have a look at. Oh dear! There we go. Okay. Should have enough left here. Hi, MB. Nice to see you. however much I have here and what length eight and a half I need eight and a half oh ooh For those of you who don't know, BZ Nana is, her name is Mary Beth, also known as MB. She used to hang around with us. She lives in the desert, so has trouble sometimes with internet connection. She lives in the Mojave Desert, California, whatever the desert is. In the hot, hot desert. Um, Twitter, she's Desert Nana Retro, or Netro, Desert Retro Nana, which, which is it? <laughs> um, anyway, oh dear. So, I am relieved that I got my zines completed and in on time. It's the first swap I've done in a couple of years. I banned myself from swaps last year just because I know how bad I am at mailing. Is Mayo here today, Linda Mayo?
<laughs> Cause she ha her package is on. She has a package on the way too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Karen. Yeah. Now I'll be going back in September, and I won't remember any of their names. It'd be awful. Well, some of the older ones, the older kids, I will. But Okay, right. Yes. So, Linda, watch out for a package on its way to you. A box. Just a couple things in it. Something I've owed you since <laughs> Streamathon. She, she won my prize on Streamathon and it came back to me because I had the wrong post code on it. Or zip code, I should say. And it's taken until now for me to get it back out to you. Yeesh. Anyway. So. Yes. Hey, Army Linda. This is the guest book. And luckily enough, my Blitzy order came in today off with my, because I desperately needed some O-rings for journals and stuff. And they had them on sale a couple of weeks ago. So I bought some. Oh, I didn't trim this one down. Dang it. Yeah. I thought I trimmed both of them. kind of writing that it's kind of hard to see. I think I best put another strip here where I cut it off. I want it to be well adhered on the edges. Okay. Everyone's introducing themselves in chat. There's a couple of new people or people that are newish to the scene introducing themselves okay so which side is going to be the bound side that side is so I'm putting it closer to this side I guess I better do it this way because I have to go far enough into the, there we go. Okay. Alright. Normally I would have it be a little wider, but I'm 
using leftover papers that I don't want to waste. So, all right, so. Okay, Dee Dee, have a good supper. Mm-hmm. Dee Dee is having leftover turkey for supper. Yum. Nothing better than leftover turkey. Love leftover turkey. Which reminds me, I've got a turkey breast in the freezer that I need to take out and cook before too long. So I think I'm going to do that this week. I can make up some rice, some potatoes. Oh, hold on. i to turn up the edge here. There we go. Yes, definitely. Hugs to Eileen if you're watching this either on recording or live. Hugs to you and Simon. Okay. Now let's trim the papers that are going in that. Did a little bit. Oh darn it, they got wet by the look of it. Okay, hold on. I may have to print off a couple more. Well, for some reason that one didn't print on both sides. will be plenty. All right. So here's the pages. I just printed these off double sided on my own printer for the guest book on ivory card stock. Yeah, I think I still have enough. I printed extras. Okay, so five and a half is halfway. Just want to make sure I have them nicely lined up here.
Now, so that's the guest signing pages. And if there's any left over, we can just pull them out or they can write notes or whatever. Now, this is what I've done for, oh, let me cut it off first. Okay. So what I did was I went through on a web page and I found their birthday date and I printed out a page of some interesting facts of things that have happened on their birthday day. March 2nd is hers and his is March 25th. And then I did a list of um, who else has a birthday on their birthday day. So let me read those to you. So I did this for my mom too, so that's where I got the idea. So here's uh, an example. Um, Lois is her mom's name. Her birthday's March 2nd. Here's who she shares a birthday with. In 19, oh, sorry, hold on. 1316, Robert II de Stuart, King of the Scots, was born. 1810, Leo XIII. He was the 256th Pope. He was born on March 2nd. 1904, Dr. Seuss was born on March 2nd. Um, Desi Arnaz was born in 1917. In 1931, Mikhail Gorbachev was born. Uh, 1935, Al Waxman, who is a Canadian, famous Canadian actor, was born on her birthday. Uh, 1945, Gordon Thompson, who is a Canadian actor, and he starred on Dynasty. 1950, Karen Carpenter, the singer, was born in New Haven, Connecticut. 1955, Jay Osmond of the Osmond Brothers were born. 1968, David Craig, the English actor, also known as James Bond. Bond, James Bond. And 1974, Martine Desserot from Montreal, Quebec. She's a Canadian swimmer. Uh, Olympic medalist. So they were all born on Lois's birthday. On March 25th, 1133, Henry II, King of England, was born. So these are all March 25th. 1782, Caroline Bonaparte, Queen of Naples, sister of Napoleon. 1901, Ed Begley, an actor. Hartford, Connecticut, he was born. 1918, Howard Cosell, the great uh, sportscaster, I guess, especially boxing, especially well known for boxing. Uh, 1934, Gloria Steinem was born. 1940, Anita Bryant was born. 1942, Aretha Franklin was born. 1942, Paul Michael Glazer, Starsky of Starsky and Hutch, was born the same day as Aretha Franklin. Who knew? 1947, Elton John was born, March 25th. 1966, Jeff Healy, who is a blind guitarist from Jeff Healy Band. He, he's Canadian. He was born on March 25th. And then there's all these important dates in history that I have that happened on, on March 2nd and March 25th in history. So I'm just going to put those... in the book as well. So I need to grab my <sighs> cinch. <clears throat> that was heavy to lift with my shoulder. Okay. 
So these are eight and a half. So I need to pull peg five. So I do one punch. And then I pull this out all the way and uh oh oh one of them was pulled out by mistake so let's try that again didn't notice that there we go pull it all the way out and pull out peg five sure it's lined up properly that will go in that hole and and perfectly punched holes one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven giving me 16 holes so I probably have to do this in two bunches cute isn't it See you later. Ooh, sounds good, Lisa. Chicken fried rice, yum yum. Oh, now Carrie's going to have coffee on top of her pixie sticks? Ugh, boy. We're really in trouble. Trouble. Now these were nine inches, I think, if I remember correctly. eight and three quarters so that's an extra quarter of an inch so an eighth of an inch so in order to get this these because the covers are a little larger all right they're a quarter of an inch larger which means an eighth of an inch larger on either t on the top and an eighth of an inch on the bottom so 
That means I need to, and I still want to have 16 holes, obviously. So that means I need to pull this out an eighth of an inch. Oops, hold on. Uh, where am I here? An eighth of an inch. That's a quarter. Wait now. Put it out an eighth of an inch. And I gotta make sure I have my letters going the correct way. So this is gonna be the front. Oh, hold on, my phone's ringing. Just a second. Oh, and it's an unknown number, so I'm not answering. Okay. Hey, Jamie, I see you. One cover done. All right, because you still want it to be in the middle, so you need a little more space on the bottom and top. So it's easy to figure out. <laughs> okay, so that is going to be the front. This is going to be the back, so I have to do this one this way. Make sure it's straight in there. Alrighty. <laughs> cool. Alrighty. Now Okay, so now I have my nice new three-quarter inch antique brass O-rings here. Oh, and by the way, I learned the hard way, do not buy O-rings in bulk. I did that when I first bought my bind at all. And uh, because somewhere had them on a big sale, Big sale. Mm-hmm. In bulk. Yeah, they came without any of these uh, cool, like, uh, dividers or anything. So, yeah, they came all tangled up. I'm still detangling. Eesh. Okay, so I need 16. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Then I put my scissors in there. And then I count again to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I don't know. And I'll put that. This is good for a small little journal or a calendar or something that you want to uh, go from the top maybe or something. over these little pegs that are here <clears throat> so front back and you flip back over the front and then they load on so pages first Another reason why I like this better than the bind at all, it has this cool. Yeah, I use I have a couple of silver O rings, but I don't use them very often. Most of the ones I use are antique silver, and I did get a couple of black ones this time. So, as as a, as a change. All right. I need to set it on the three quarter inch setting. Okay, and underneath there, and push it. I guess I gotta do it this way. It slipped on me. Dang it all! I hate it when that happened. And ta da! Okay. And as easy as that, we have a guest book. I could have done with a half inch, but I don't have any half inch bindings, rings, so I guess we're stuck with the, uh... okay, they got flattened, what did I do wrong, hold on, ready for our guests to sign. Ta-da is right. Ta-da. Ta-da. So there we go. Now I have to do their video. Ugh, that's going to be the hard one. So the guest book, photo album are done. Treasure box is done. Can't wait for Sue to see that. Thanks, Carrie. So, I think I'll stop this recording and start a new one. I'm going to be back, so I'm just going to thank you for watching if you watch this recording. I am coming back with another one, though.